That's okay, I'm going to be. I forgot, I had worn, I noticed that I've worn this t-shirt in quite a few of my videos. <laughs> At least I think I've worn them in quite a few of them. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to probably stick to this one. Probably for the main focus of the video. Which, um, I think I'm going to have to go downstairs for this video. I'm going to talk about the trauma that I kept alluding to before. So, like, so, yo, hi. So, apparently what am I? We're going to look at this. <laughs> Can you see it? This sucks. It's ugly. Ugly as. A little bit lighter, but around that color. The green. A little bit lighter. Or just the loss. Okay. I'm <laughs> not gonna talk about things. And show you around. Okay. Um. So there's a lot of trauma. <laughs> there used to be a couch here, and then there was TV here, where this thing is. Now we're just using a storage place, we finally got rid of most of the crap. Um, now we're just, yeah, a lot of, little kid stuff. <laughs> I don't remember if this doesn't work anymore or not. But yeah, mostly just a lot of storage space down here. Yeah, there used to be a uh, carpet down here on the floor, um, old TV, and a couch right here. And then also on um, the stairs, this area right here. It's painted green right here. I don't know if I'm doing this properly and to worry about camera work. But yeah, um, so right here, this used to be blue. It's right up until here. And then this used to be white. And then my dad went over everything with green, which is great because this is just, you know, this is the only real highlight of my trauma. <laughs> A lot of shit happened right there. <laughs> right there on this thing. Yeah. Um, and then the couch, and the couch is gone, and the TV gone, and all of that is gone. So there's no reminder of that trauma, that, except for that green thing, <laughs> where you painted the green. Um, but yeah, but I used to be white walls and everything, and then, um, it used to be that ugly green color, also in the hallways before we, um, I helped Joy repaint it. So, then we painted it, like, a gray, gray-white, and now it's, like, I guess it said, like, on the can or whatever, it's, like, a tint of blue, but you can't see it, it's just, now it looks white. So now it's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna go turn off lights, and then we're gonna talk about my issues. Okay, so, as I'm being a wreck, and everything's being a disaster. Yes, I'm hiding in the basement, where my trauma's at. Uh, I used to get freaked out all the time, because the noises and everything, was because of the mice. You could really hear the mice in the walls, uh, especially down here and everything. Just since there's no wall, <laughs> no coverage of the wall, and then just ugly foam. The foam. Just pure foam. Yeah, um, this is where Timothy and Johnny... Oh, we're gonna talk about all the issues. So, this is gonna be a Me Too video. <laughs> you know, the Me Too video. I mean, I can't say words. The whole Me Too movement and all that jazz. La la. Just gonna disappear for a while. You know? <laughs> blah blah. Oh, you can see me. Yeah, this is the shit I'm talking about. I'm gonna be random, and hopefully you can hear me. I'm being a wreck. Okay. So, whatever. <laughs> hopefully moving will help me talk. Um, so, yeah. I guess the real, like, definition of what happened and all that crap, um, would be, uh, attempted sexual assault. Yeah, uh, and so the Me Too movement, all that, the hashtag Me Too and everything, and just, um, guys, just, just women relating and coming out and telling their story of being, hey, I was harassed, like, verbally or, like, sexually or anything, I was harassed by dudes, or being, like, sexually assaulted and things like that. Yeah. Um, and, like, the only thing, like, bad or whatever, only thing, like, against it, um, guys are like, oh my god, it's so crazy and everything, people were... I don't know why. I'm really confused. But yeah, um, I heard people were, like, offended by it and thought people were going extreme and they were, like, feminism is going too far and everything. And they're just promoting to hate men and all this crap. You know, people just, feminists just want more rights for women and to be treated equally and for people to stop sexually assaulting women and degrading them and treating them like shit. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what feminism is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say words, but yeah. Um, other people talk about it. They, they, they make words make sense. Words, words make sense. Nope, no, they don't. Yeah, so I'm failing. Um, yeah, but I used to like cry all the time. So I'm trying to just not cry, and hopefully that happens. Because um, I used to cry all the time, because I would have to go to therapy, and then I would, it would take me weeks upon weeks to get up the courage to tell them. <laughs> and then i tell my therapist. <laughs> but I was like, sh like on the verge of tears or crying. I always end up crying whenever I tell them. Yeah, because um, I didn't know the terms like attempted sexual assault, because that's what it was. Um... So I was like, all I knew was, um, I got triggered by the word rape, because I was like, that's what he was trying to do me. He was trying to touch me. And I ain't having about it. And that wasn't happening. Nope, nope, nope. No touching me. <laughs> um, and also happened, it was the same guy, and he tried the same shit with my best friend. Um, so he was also attempted sexual assault on them. Yeah. Um, and like, 
the whole BS bullshit of like, oh my god, the girl who's asking for it, or like the women or whatever they identify as, they were like totally asking for it and all this crap. Um, BS bullshit. Um, <laughs> bitch, no. No one was ever asking for it. And there was like a hilarious thing, a joke I heard, um, where they were like, if girls can ask about it and the miracle about a woman and everything is that if they want it and they ask for it, they can get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that was funny thought. That was I'm being random and not productive whatsoever. Hopefully something comes out of my mouth that's productive and I don't forget everything. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, um Me Too movement is like a mess. It's a wreck. Um not not the actual Me Too movement or anything, but I was just thinking about um how it's a wreck and it's a mess. Um in my head, everything is. Yes, um, but I think it's a wreck and it's a mess and it's like awful that there's a whole Me Too movement that just like happened in my house. <laughs> I didn't know about it. Um, it took me quite a few years ago. I read, I read something on my sister's old iPod. I was borrowing it and I was listening to music for a little while. And I read in, there was like a note and everything. There was like a journal in there. You know, you can write, there's that app and you can write notes and whatever on it. And so I was bored and I found them and I was reading them and then I found out about my brother. So I have a lot of problems and they're like, oh, like people are like, oh, they got daddy issues or they got like uncle issues. And I'm like, no, I got all, <laughs> the whole family has issues. And then my whole family is the issue. <laughs> I got mom problems, I got dad problems, I got sibling problems. It's a wreck. Yeah. Um, so let's just go. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's just start from the top. Um, let's not talk about me, let's talk about me last. That would be more productive, yes. Than the whole point of this video. I'm wasting so much time. Oh my god, it's been nine minutes, I'm insane. I'm gonna totally have to cut this. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video so I can shorten this really fast, and then... Okay, so my oldest brother, Johnny. Yeah, um, he's married, and he's got a kid. Um, he's got a little girl right now, and everything. Um, we don't really talk to him. He lives in, like, Bloomington, Indiana. Um, there was, like, a whole FBI thing, yeah, um, the FDA, FBI got involved in everything, but it's been, it was so many years since it had happened and everything, um, that they couldn't do anything about it, um, and he denied the whole fact and that anything happened and all of that crap. Um, so, let's just go through my problems. <laughs> no, it's like, what problems don't I have? Um, but no, focusing on this. Okay, so, um, my oldest brother, Johnny, um, so yeah, he raped and molested all of my sisters, except for, obviously, me. Nobody touched me. Um, and I tried to, but that's later on. That's last. <laughs> we ain't talking about that shit, <laughs> you know? Um, so, Me Too movement totally happened in my house. Um, yeah. Okay, so, the only people not involved is me and my sister, who's married, who's got, um, she got pregnant again, it's another boy. Um, she already got a boy, she, she's married and everything now. Um, but yeah, let me see. Uh, it's a large family, so. Yeah, he got everybody. How many, I how many sisters there are again? So, so pre me would be six sisters, three brothers, so four, four to six, four to six <laughs> were molested and raped. Um, okay, let me see. I have the most of my oldest sister, um, names, Rachel. I shouldn't say people's names. I'm suck. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, okay, so my oldest sister, <laughs> having the most of her, um, she moved away to Cali, um, and her last name's different and everything, so, and she's not even, like, on Facebook anymore, so, um, she has quite a few little girls that are kids, um, so I guess saying her first name isn't a big deal. And then saying everyone's like named Marianne. Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah. So oldest. Um oldest sister. Then I guess my like second oldest sister got like skipped. Yeah. Or at least I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um so Naomi wasn't touched or anything. Um, but Mary was, and Joy was, and Abby was. They all found out and everything, because, um, yeah. The youngest one, that's, yeah, I said names, I wasn't supposed to, whatever. Um, I'm being bullshit, and everyone's gonna hate me, and I'm being self-conscious. It's great, great, great. Okay. <laughs> I'll post it, and then delete it, and then hopefully I'll probably get taken back down anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, so, youngest one, everyone's named Abby, though. There's so many Abbeys. It's Abby Gale. Um, and there's so many different spellings. I'm getting off track. And there's so many Marys. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, big family. Lots of problems. Yeah. Um, yeah, so first one and not Tim. Um, the second one. And everyone's named Johnny. And Tim. And everyone. Everyone has these names. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Tim wasn't involved or anything. Um, yeah. He was just, I guess, a witness. Um, a witness, a non-persistent, I don't know. Um, he wasn't involved or anything, but, um, he has schizophrenia, and he's getting treated for it, so he's a lot better. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, he just hurt animals instead of people. And then, Jenny hurt people and I animals. So, so, yeah. So, um, it's just great. Family problems, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, um, and then my parents knew about it for, they knew about the whole thing. 
and my dad got told repeatedly, and he knew about it, um, but he was just in denial about everything. Um, yeah, he just denied it happened and pretended it didn't happen. Um, they all knew shit, and they all took precautions, um, and they all protected me as the youngest. Um, and I didn't know shit, so <laughs> I didn't know why they were like, oh, you can't go over Johnny's, oh, you can't hang out, oh, you can't go in the car, oh, you can't go down the motorcycle to ride with him, oh, you can't go downstairs, you, oh, you can't see him, you can't ride in the Jeep, you can't see him. Yeah, because he was, like, the cool oldest brother. <laughs> And I thought it was really cool and everything because he had been banned and he had his own car and he's had his own job and he went to college and everything like that. So I thought, and then he had a motorcycle and he like wore leather jackets and everything. And he had like, he wasn't, he was the cool, good looking older brother. Like, this feels weird to say good looking older brother. Nope, didn't like him whatsoever. And obviously no physical protection there, but it was just like, he had a lot of girlfriends and things like that, you know. <laughs> he's popular. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it happened to my sister Joy when she was like three, and then when sister, the youngest sister, um, also when she was three. And then possibly also the one older, the Mary, also when three, you know? So, but yeah, I was mostly just, I was always sleeping in my sister's bed, so nothing ever happened to me. Um, and they also, they also knew about it because they, um, they, I don't think they knew it quite as early as when they built the whole extension on the house to keep up with how many kids were in the house and everything and then but when they made the rule of this is the girls hall only and that, that the two oldest boys live downstairs and that girls only and no guys can go back there um go to the girls rooms or go down the hallway um yeah they knew <laughs> they knew about this bullshit so that's the whole me too movement with my brother i wasn't involved in that shit um so i got no trauma or anything um i got my own trauma to deal with my own bs <laughs> you know um but I would get triggered a lot by, like, rape and molest just because, um, and stuff that happened in my family, and, um, there was, like, the whole rape joke going around at school and everything that got me real triggered. Um, I would, like, laugh or just, like, quietly sit by and not really laugh or anything. I would be, like, it would just be impressive if I didn't have a panic attack <laughs> when I heard the joke, and I was, like, okay, <laughs> just tag inside, you know? Yeah, it was great. Um, I didn't talk about it or deal with my shit whatsoever. I don't talk or deal with my shit. We push it to die. It just goes away. It just goes away. Yeah, it doesn't. It's all in there. It's all in there, so we don't deal with the problems. But yeah, now now we're going to talk about my BS. My BS. My BS, yeah. Me being a wreck. You just pacing. Random as fuck. Yeah. A lot of cursing is going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. This, this is how I'm going to plan to get through this. Okay. So the whole area that I showed you before. Um, okay, so the floor, the carpet, whatever. I guess it's triggering. Um, but yeah. Nobody can catch my fucking back. I'm back super triggered. I'm yeah, happy about that. Um, but I also been taking my new medications, my for anxiety and everything, and I was a lot less jumpy, and it's been very helpful. So I need to go and get that, and I also up that, so hopefully that'll help me more for my anxiety and everything. So for my, um, yeah, my paranoia and everything, it really helps. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> and a lot more talkative, and I'm getting distracted and off track and everything like that. Okay, so anyway, oh, I think this is more productive than the last video. I don't know. Anyway, um, so to focus on my BS, my phone, yep. Um, so his name was Devin. Not a demon, or a demon. Um, luckily, no one in my school and none of my classes would have that name. It never came up again. Um, so he, oh, let's talk about his sister. Okay, so I knew him because his sister Jasmine and him would come over to play at our house all the time. Um, and it was like a year or two after her death. Um, yeah, but that was no excuse for the shit he pulled. And, you yeah, know. And like, total BS about like, you were asking for it and all like, bitch, I didn't look like a girl. <laughs> I didn't, didn't look like a girl. I had long hair and my face looked girly. But mostly just chubby and fat. So chubby, fat face. I still have that chubby, fat face. I hate my face. <laughs> Obviously. Not just the acne. I hate my face anyway. And so, and I want to rip it off physically. So whenever there's any bumps or any acne on it, I'm just like, yes, I can get to feeling scratching and ripping off my face. I feel like I'm ripping off my face a little bit. Which just makes it look worse. And But I already think it looks the worst. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm rambling. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, had a fat face. Long hair. That, that was it. I wore... I didn't have a chest or anything, um, I literally, I wore, and I, I literally only wore dresses ever on Sundays, and that was because I was hoarse, and because I was told I looked cute in it, and when you spin around really fast in a dress, um, and you're only wearing underwear, because you don't have a chest or anything, and you don't have to wear a bra or anything like that anymore, you don't, well, you don't have to, because you don't have anything there, um, and you spin around really fast, and feels like you're naked, but you're not allowed to be naked, because you're told you're a girl, and you only want to be naked and have short hair. <laughs> I used to cut my hair all the time. He's always trying to cut my hair. I get in trouble for it, and then I got cut my bangs really horribly, and then I was like, 
I look like a boy. <laughs> so I thought having short hair like was really bad for a while because I was like, yeah, no. I looked like an ugly nerdy boy. Like that weird, ugly, straight across your forehead, really short. That's what happened to my bangs because I tried to cut it myself. I tried to cut my hair myself. And then I was like, this exit looks horribly, horribly. And when I put my hair back in the ponytail, I looked like an ugly boy. At least what I thought was an ugly boy in TV series and things like that. <laughs> it was an ugly haircut. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, sorry. This is me just getting into my dysphoria and everything. But literally, I only wore ever... Um, so I only wore, and he never saw me ever in a dress, I never wore a dress in front of me, he never saw me in a dress. I always wore really super baggy t-shirts um, and shorts, basketball shorts. That's all I wore. All I ever wore, basically, even to school and everything. Rare occasions I wore dress, and then for a little while, when I thought I was um, bigendered, I wore I wore more dresses. I wore quite a few dresses, um, which helped me establish and make sure that I hated all of my clothes and to get rid of all of them. <laughs> if I felt like I hated them and I wanted to burn them, I wore them again, like a day later or so just to make sure and reassure that that was the feeling I got, so I finally got rid of it. And then just, like, throw it in the bin to, like, be washed or whatever, and I finally actually got rid of my crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still being distracting and not talking about my issues. Welcome to me. Yeah, I only distract. I don't talk about or deal with my issues. Yep, it's just what I do. I distract it with random shit. Yeah. Okay, back to my issues. Um, yeah. So, he used to come over all the time. He's my brother's friend. He was only a year younger than my brother, who's young... Um, he's my youngest brother. He's my third brother. He's only... Four years older than me, because almost everyone in the family has a two-year gap. So my youngest sister is two years older than me, and then my brother is four years older than me. And then, um, so my oldest, my oldest brother is like ten, around ten years older than me, like eight or ten years older than me. Yeah, <laughs> he's a lot older than me. Um, so he's like, no, I think he's more like eight or ten years older than Abby, and then so he's like ten or twelve years older than me. Yeah, like it's more like ten or eleven, and then. Eight or ten or nine years older than Abby. But yeah. Um that's my younger sister. Okay. Thank you, Basin, and everything. Yeah. Being a wreck. Okay. Um, I got distracted again. <laughs> We're never happening. Okay, Devin. Um, so his name even was triggering, and then um it didn't help that um they knew about it. They haven't mm, they knew about the shit that happened with me too. Um and they played that same bullshit. Oh my god, my dad said he didn't know. He wasn't told the yes, bullshit, you knew. Um and you fucking invited him over every summer. And you made me sit in the same car as him. And you invited him over the house, like only a few, maybe like less than a week afterwards, after that chat happened. You knew about it, and everything. And I cried afterwards, and I didn't know why. <laughs> and whenever I wore a dress and everything at school, and you guys would look at me, I felt extremely uncomfortable, and I was like, nope, this is not what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, being a mess, I can't set this down. Yeah, maybe I'll do this, maybe this will help. Okay, um, so yeah, so the shit that did actually happen. Um, yeah, so, I was just, obviously, I didn't wear shit that was attractive, or that made me look like a girl, ever. Um, <laughs> no one knew I was a girl. Um, yeah, so, definitely, no one's asking for that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so what happened was, we were playing tag. We played tag a lot. Um, we, okay, in the basement, um, occasionally we, we were able to, there was a really old TV and a super old, um, Nintendo Mario Kart we used to play all the time. And it had those little, um, yeah, the old style and everything. Super old. Um. Nintendo, um, yeah, so it's just a really super old, um, Nintendo game, and everything. We also have a VGS, I'm not saying that right, but yeah, VHS, all our movies and everything was VHS, it was, like, new and surprising and everything, we had it on DVD, <laughs> so it was all really old movies and everything, um, but yeah, um, that was only real, like, there were a few other games, but not really, and there wasn't anything that was real fun or anything like that, um, or that we were good at playing or anything, or that we could figure out to hook up, um, but yeah. So we play Mario Kart all the time, um, and then we pretend to wrestle, but we always got in trouble because that's like, girls and guys can't wrestle. <sighs> I always wanted to wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to fight. Guys can't hit girls, and I couldn't fight. I wasn't allowed to fight. I always, I always wanted to fight. I always wanted to fight, and I always wanted to play. <sighs> and I didn't understand rough housing, and so when I wasn't allowed to play, and it looked like people were in pain, and I called in everything. But they weren't actually in pain, they were just messing around. And I felt bad about it. Um, <laughs> For years. Oh my god, I blamed myself for years. I blamed myself for every little thing ever. For years. Um, any mistake whatsoever. And I'm like, oh, you fucked up then, and then, and then. Oh, and you got someone in trouble. And oh my god, you lied before. Oh my god, you were mean before. And all this crap just pops up in my head and everything. Okay, I keep distracting on purpose, apparently. Yep, okay. <laughs> I should just curse a lot and get me shit through. Okay, yep. 
Can't even curse properly. Okay, um, but yeah, fuck, 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 fuck. Anyway, um, we were playing tag. Um, we weren't allowed to wrestle anymore. Um, he, we were playing tag, and then he offered to wrestle, and he talked about wrestling before, and I was like, no, we can't. We always got in trouble and everything. We can't wrestle. Guys can't wrestle with girls, the bullshit rule and everything like that. <sighs> Plus, you're a lot older than me, and the last time we, um, you wrestled, you're a lot stronger than me now. Um, so you'd pin me down again. Um, because the last time I was, we played, um, and dang, this was right before I was in fourth grade. Um, and he, like, just turned, like, maybe 13 or whatever, so he just, like, he was, like, pre-puberty or just hit puberty and everything. Um, so, yeah, I was, like, 10, maybe. I'm pretty sure I was, like, 10. Um, it's like, 9 or 10, and he was, like, so he's three older, years older than me, so he was 13 or 12 at most. That's how old he was. Um, it's, like, 10, 11, 12, right in that range. He wasn't even 13 yet. Um, I was, like, 10, 9, or, I wasn't 8, I was, like, 9 or 10. I was right in that range. Yeah. Um, and it was right before fourth grade and everything. It was before I was in, before I was 12 and everything like that. Um, so I still didn't have anything and I only got, um, I've only had to start wearing like training bras even when I didn't have anything in like fifth grade. Um, when my period started, the death trap, you know, bloody hell happened. The bloody curse happened um, when I was in fifth grade, which was everyone else got it in like seventh and eighth and a few got it in like sixth grade. But no one got in fifth grade. I was also a year older than everyone in my grade. But yeah, um, so my, and then my friend, my best friend is like a year or two younger than me. For the most part, just like a year younger than me because um, of where our birthdays are. I'm in November, so like the last two months of the year. And they're in the first month of the year. So almost all the time we're only like a year apart. We're like technically like two years apart or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're a year apart. Yeah, um, and... Um, I'm gonna tell their story first. So what happened with my best friend, because I keep dodging and avoiding everything. Um, so what happened with my best friend is that, um, they're playing around or whatever, probably playing tag too, uh, or whatever. And then, um, he ends up pinning them to the bed, and then he starts, like, um, moving on them and everything. But, um, Faye was really small and everything, so they were able to wriggle around, um, and squirm out from underneath him. And then he, like, tried this again, and then they were able to squirm away and run away again. Yeah, um, so nothing happened with them. And, like... Like, I swear. Like, <laughs> you being lucky or, like, any incident or people saying, like, oh my god, like, me too movement, oh my god, you were, like, so lucky and all that crap. BS bullshit. Um, like, we fought and we did shit. Like, bitch, we didn't stand there helplessly and didn't do anything. And just let things happen to us. And then if you even let stuff happen to you, there's always reason and shit like that. Like, you don't have a choice and, like, you just get frozen and you just want it to be over and you might get hurt more if you do move and it might get worse. <sighs> um, so yeah. But the whole lucky, oh my god, um... And I thought for a little while, I was like, I'm a rape survivor and everything, because I was like, it didn't happen to me, so I survived it. <laughs> but no, that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it happened to you, and then you, but you lived afterwards. That's what rape survivor is and everything like that. But yeah. <laughs> I thought I meant something else for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's what happened with my best friend. And then we got really close to them, and I stopped talking to my best friend, who was a guy. Well, he was my first friend, not my best friend. Um, my first friend ever I made that, well, I guess I made some in... My first kindergarten, um, I made a friend with this one girl who liked to pretend to be a monkey. And if, um, and then two guys I'd play um, tag with. I just chased them around the playground. It was fun. Um, yeah. One was named Trevor, Trevor, and the other one was named Matt. His last name was Carr, because it was fun. That's why I remembered it. I was like, your last name's Carr. It's really cool. So Matt, Matt Carr, and then I couldn't remember his name forever, but Trevor. There were two of my, um, two of my friends, and then there was this one girl I played around. Uh, there was monkey, so I had three friends in first kindergarten. And then in kindergarten, I didn't have any friends, and then I made friends in, <laughs> like, first grade um, with my best friend. And then a few of their friends, and then I ended up, just over time, just people, like, passed through my life and played with or and been friends with almost everyone I'd ever been in class with at some point, just gradually over time. And I don't know, like, we were, like, maybe friends for, like, a day or two, maybe, like, a week or something like that, and then we just move on. <laughs> or, like, a semester and things like that. Yeah, my friendships didn't usually last long. Um... There's at one point where I like kept losing quite a few friends, and then I was like, "No, this time I'm putting my foot down. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be the one <laughs> to stop the relationship." I'm talking about my other problems. Yep, yep. Not talking about me. Yep, I'm talking about other issues. Um, I got distracted by my other crap. Yep, that's what I do. It's great. It's great. Smiling to myself underneath this. Yep. And I talk about crap. I'm like covering it up with a smile. I don't understand like this internal plane, but we just we just smile. We're in pain. We're gonna cry, but we just smile instead. I'm really confused. I don't know what my body's doing. It's like, 
Yeah, we're laughing off our own pain and suffering, that's what we do. Apparently, yes, we're joking about it to ourselves. I think it's hilarious. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It's great. No, <laughs> not test again. Um, but yeah, no. Um, it was, like, 7th, 8th grade. I'm pretty sure 8th grade, yeah. 8th grade, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I decided to be done. I was like, people keep leaving me this time. I choose to leave you. <laughs> yeah. Um, my main reason and main action for it was because, actually, why I chose to do it. Um, it was mostly because, yeah, people kept leaving me, so I chose to do it. But also, um, I was like, you're not messed up enough <laughs> for us to be friends anymore. I was like, I've talked about all of my issues and I've shared them all. But you can't relate whatsoever and you don't have enough messed up life to relate to me. So I can't be friends with you because we have nothing to talk about. Because we're not similar. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's why I left that friend group for a while. Yeah, I was just directing everything. Okay, um, but yeah, ready for fourth grade. Um, so in fourth grade, I no longer talked to my dude friend because I was like, I can't tell you what happened and now I'm terrified of men. <laughs> Um, and then, like, every day of my life, when I was, like, ever felt attracted to someone or anything, I was like, had that quote-unquote, like, midlife crisis. And I, like, identity crisis every five minutes of my, like, in, of my life. I would just, like, question everything I believed and everything I knew about myself. And I was like, are friends real? Are family real? Is love real? <laughs> Is everything I was told a lie? Yes, yes, it was. But you just don't know anything else, so... You just get surprised every five minutes, because you're like, oh wait, that was a lie, what? What? This is not how family works? This is what love feels like? What? What is this? Yeah. Um, so I was always confused all the time. I was in a state of constant confusion, and then I was questioning myself, I was like, does anything you know, do you really like the color blue? <laughs> do you really like the color pink? Is your name really Bethany? That was my dead name. Is your middle name really Grace? Do people really mistake you and think you're a Stephanie and keep calling you Stephanie over the phone and Elizabeth? Just random as crap, you know? I would get triggered and be like, I have no idea about myself. And you're like, do you really like dudes? Do you really, really like dudes even though you're terrified of them? Do you really? <laughs> yes, there was a lot of questions of that. Um, which led me to being like, hey, I offered a guy offered to let me beat him up. Yes, I'm taking this chance. One of a lifetime. Revenge, my dude, revenge. Yeah, that made me happy. I distract. But yeah, um, so the shit that just happened with me, it was similar to Faye, I got pinned down on the ground. Um, they were facing upwards and they were able to squirm underneath um, and get out of the way and everything. Um, not the shit that happened with me though. <laughs> but it did like happen like twice where we were like tricked and got pinned down again. Um, same shit happened with me except for me. Um, I was in the basement. Um, so we were playing tag and everything, um, but I didn't really want to. But he kept calling me chicken, so I got triggered by that for a while. Um, people calling me chicken, I got triggered by that word for a while. Along with the word like rape and them talking about that shit. They'd like warn us about it and everything, but I was like, that shit already happened to me, so I just keep getting triggered every time you bring it up in class. And you're like, warning signs about all this crap, and I was like, already happened to me. <laughs> already terrified of everyone. Just keep giving me panic attacks. But I don't even know what's happening to my body. Just keep shaking, and I can't control it, and I get sad. <laughs> but I didn't have panic attacks, so I didn't, they were really small, and I didn't really notice them. I was able to control it by inflicting pain to myself. I was just digging my nails into my body. I didn't notice it, really. <laughs> But yeah, I was always distracted, plus I was usually just distracted by blaming myself and everything, so I didn't notice what was happening with my body. I always blamed myself, so they were like, it's the victim's fault for all the scrap, it's not. <laughs> You're not lucky. That's all bullshit. Yeah, this is gonna be a really long video. Crap. <laughs> but yeah, um, so what happened with me, um, so yeah, I literally did all those instinct things, they're like, freeze. So they don't include, they're like, fight or flight mode, you know? They're like, fight or flight, or like, the frozen thing, they're like, three options, and I was like, yeah, except the third option should be considered hiding. You're playing dead and hiding. They go together, they should be considered just about the same and everything. So I was like, I did all of those options. <laughs> I ran away, I hid, and I fought. <laughs> I did all of those things. Okay, so. We were playing. Tag, call me chicken or whatever. So I ran down the stairs. We were playing in the basement and everything, and I was like, Hey, I got off the stairs, and I was like, hey, and he's like, do you want to wrestle? And I was like, no. I'm gonna go back upstairs now and all this crap. And he's like, nah, bitch. No. He didn't curse or anything, obviously. He was too young. No one knew curse words at the time. <laughs> at least in my grade and, and his grade at the time. He didn't know any curse words. But yeah, I'm cursing and get through the shit. Okay, so um, I'm on the stairs and everything. I climb back. Uh, and then, so I get ready to climb back up. And then I cling to those fucking stairs that were... That area that was painted blue all the fucking time. I clung to that shit. <laughs> I climbed on that shit and I clung to it like my life depended on it. And it did. <laughs> I clung to that shit so much. I clung to it and it kept on dragging me and pulling on me. And I was like, bitch, no, I'm a koala today. I'm a fucking koala. I clung to that shit. No, I, I wasn't able. He wasn't able to fucking move me. I was unmovable. This bitch was unmovable. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know the exact order of these events. Everything happened like in a flash. That's what usually happens with trauma. It goes really fast in your head. So I don't know the exact order. Of if I clung to it first and he tried to pull me off. But I do know I clung to it twice. And he tried to pull me off. Two different times. At least twice. Probably more than that. But yeah. <laughs> it's 
because sometimes he'd get a better grip and he was stronger than me, so he was able to pull me off, but I was able to, he'd like, he'd pull me off, and so he'd like, he would loosen a little bit, and I would have a little bit more space and room, so I'd run back forward and cling onto it, and everything like that. Yeah, so that happened a lot. I don't remember if I cleaned on it first. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Yep. On minor details, I don't matter. Yep. Okay, so I clung to that staircase. Um, and then he tricked me, because I was naive, and I trusted people, and I was like, you, my heart was never broken, because I've never been in a relationship. Because I don't trust people, and I have deep hatred towards my heart towards men. You know? <laughs> I have too many issues. <laughs> so, <laughs> never in a relationship. <laughs> so I didn't deal with that bullshit. Uh, so my heart was never broken, but my trust was. I got my trust broken. I was like, I was already terrified of everyone in general anyway. I was terrified of my parents, and all adults. I couldn't talk to them. I was always... I had this bad habit of peeing in my chair. I, I, I peed at school a few times. And sit, and I'd pee in class. I would accidentally wet my pants and everything. Because I was too scared to ask the adults to go to the bathroom. I was always way too terrified of adults. I never raised my hand and ask questions. I'd be like, hey, I have to go to the bathroom. I'd be like, no, I can hold it. No, you can't. You are a child. You do not have that big of a bladder. You can't hold it. <laughs> yeah, I was terrified of adults. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I'd always hold it and everything. And, yeah. So I ruined quite a few pairs of pants. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so I was already terrified of adults and everything, and my parents especially. Um, a few adults were nice, but still, I was still scared of you. It didn't matter if you were nice to me or not. Um, I was also terrified. Oh, yeah. The guy I beat up, I was terrified of his mother. It was because I was terrified of my own mother, and I was like, she seemed a little bit strict, and I was like, my mother is super strict, and I was like, I'm terrified of this woman. <laughs> she would sub quite a lot, quite a few times, so I met her. Um, so I was terrified of her, and I was like, this man, this boy, this kid that told me I could beat him up, ever tells his mother, she's gonna tell my mother, and they're gonna beat the shit out of me. <laughs> So I was just terrified of that mother. Okay, yeah. Oh, I got distracted again. Yeah. So before, we were on the stairs clinging for our lives. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> it's great. Laughing through pain. Okay, that's normal shit. Um, yeah. So BS bullshit. Okay. Um, so he dragged me off of the stairs. Um, he tricked me. I believed him. And he was like, hey, um, I'll just like sit you down on the couch or whatever. Um, I'll stop pulling on you or whatever. So I got down and um, he picked me up. Um, and then I guess a little bit of luck was on my side, but mostly had some weight to me, and he was clumsy and hadn't lifted anyone or carried me ever before. Um, so he tripped, and he fell. And I was able to roll out from underneath him. Yeah. So we didn't make it to the couch. <laughs> so in the floor area right before the couch, um, he dropped me, I fell, um, but it was all carpet, so I wasn't hurt, and it was all good, and all that crap. So I fell on the ground, and it was all good. I was able, um, yeah, he was able to stand up or whatever, he got up. Uh, I was on the ground, um, I was able to, he was like princess carrying me, so I was facing upwards, and then I rolled over, so my back was facing towards him, and then he climbed on my back, um, and then I immediately grabbed his hair. He had short hair, but I still found a way, <laughs> this bitch found a way, and I clung onto his fucking hair, and I kept pulling on it. He tried, he tried to like, he'd pull in my hair and be like, hey, let go, and he kept promising me. He'd be like, hey, I'll get off of you if you let me go, if you let go of my hair. Bitch, liar, liar. I did kept letting go of his hair, and trying to get him off of me. I let go of his hair, waited a few seconds, and then he didn't fucking move. So I grabbed onto back into his fucking hair. So I didn't let go of that fucking hair. So I was always able to find a way to grab onto his fucking hair. And then this struggle happened quite a bit for a while. Then I was able to get out um, from underneath him, and I clung back to the stairs case again when he tried to drag me down. <sighs> um, yeah. But then I was finally able to escape and ran up to the stairs and locked myself in my room, and um, I like put shit in front of the door and everything and locked it. So he couldn't come down the hallway, and he couldn't find me ever again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the uh, trauma shit that happened afterwards. Dang, this is a long video. Yeah, <laughs> it's like forever to get to the point. But anyway, um, so this is not personal shit. Yeah. Um, so then he proceeded to keep calling me chicken and everything, and be like, Hey, I just want to play with tag and all that bullshit. No, this BS, you know, I wasn't falling for this BS bullshit again. There's no fucking way. Um, I didn't believe a word he said, and I stayed in my room until I heard that car, and they left. Stayed in my room for hours. Well, I don't think it was that long. <laughs> just like an hour or two. It wasn't really that long. Um, but I was terrified and freaked out afterwards. And then um, I just ended up crying and I didn't know why. So I was like, the experience is over. There's no reason to cry now. I'm so confused. My body was stressed. And so it cried. Um, so we cried for a while. And then my sister came in. She's like, what happened? And like, what's wrong? What's Why are you crying? And then I told them. And then we went down to the living room. And she told them. She told my both of my parents immediately right after. So it happened that night. I it wasn't even night when he tried to do this. It was the middle of the day. It was the afternoon. What is even late? It wasn't even like six. He went home at like six or eight. It happened like four or like three p.m. Yeah, so it wasn't even late in the evening or anything. And the light was on and everything in the basement and outside and everything. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, so they told him that night and everything. So my dad understood everything like that. So my mom knew. Um, but then not even a week later, he was invited over to my house. And so every time he came over, I just hide in my room. So I just stayed in my room all the time. Uh, he came over all the time, especially in the summer. And every summer he came over, he came over almost all the time, almost all the, every day in the summertime, he'd come over to my house and I'd have to hide in my room every year. Like there was like never a break just about and everything. He finally moved away. So I was able to free and not be bothered, but I still saw him in the summer. And then he even when, when I was in high school, I even saw him once. Um, he was, I saw him a few times. He was in the hallway and everything. And I got freaked out. Um, and then I got freaked out and got told and everything. Cause he went to the red barn. Um, and I used to go to the red barn all the goddamn time. And then I saw him there and I was like, bitch, nah, I didn't say anything for a while though. But then I was like, people, some of my friends and everything, they were hanging out with him. And I was like, bitch, nah, you don't hang out with this motherfucker. This is nah, it's bad news, motherfucker. We even talked about this motherfucker. This is not happening. Yeah. So then I had to cry again and tell people about the shit that happened. <laughs> Knowing ass fucking shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but he's only three years older than me and all that bullshit. So yeah, stressful and I had to see him all the goddamn fucking time And I had to ride in the van. I well, in my dad's truck with him uh, When he would take us to go to Fort Wayne and we would help pick out trash for money. I usually didn't get paid though <laughs> I was not paid <laughs> Most of the time because my dad got paid and then sometimes he'd split some of the money with us and sometimes he didn't um, yeah Because of that Because <laughs> I was free labor and everything um I felt like I wasn't paid and everything. And there were like some questions or whatever. They were like, because there were some questions or whatever. They're like, were you boozed and everything? And like, um, there were like all those questions. They're like, hey, were you like, were you not paid by your employer? Did you have like problems where you like worked um, for like money and everything and you were employed but you didn't get paid? Um, did you have crap like that? And like, were you not fed properly? Were you not like housed and clothed properly? Um, and on those two things, I was like, my dad didn't pay me when I worked. <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like tempted to mark that, but I'm like, dang it, nope, that doesn't count. And I'm also tempted to mark on like the food, like the clothing and the food a little bit. I'm tempted to mark on that just because um, my mom always burnt the food and it was always cooked and raw and burnt. Hmm, almost always raw and burnt. Sometimes you, you can get it both most of the time. Part of it would be frozen and raw and the other part would be burnt. Yeah, so that was most of the food. So most of the food was poisonous, and I would get food poisoning, and I'd get sick all the time. I'd get sick a lot from it. Um, for some reason, I got worse as I got older. I became less and less tolerant to these foods. <laughs> and I can eat less and less of these foods and things like that. Um, it's more triggering and makes my body sick. It's happened to most of my siblings. We couldn't have, like, milk for a while, and we couldn't have, like, eggs for a while. Because that's what we grew up on, and they were most of the time they were, like, raw and partially cooked, and there were shells and crap like that in them. We ate them so much that our bodies are like, no, <laughs> nope, we can't take this anymore. <laughs> now we're going to give you a stomach ache and you're going to notice it. <laughs> you're going to feel sick and miserable and you're going to notice it. <laughs> yeah. And you're not going to be able to like tolerate it and just eat it anyway and be like, yeah. Uh, and I also have like a really strong gag reflex. I still do. So I can't take pills without eating something. Um, it's just automatic and everything. It's just like I can do about it. Um, <laughs> just something that happens. And so a lot of the time I would gag and everything. You'd be like, no, you're faking it or whatever, and you, you have to eat it anyway. So I did, but still, yeah. <laughs> I gagged at most, almost everything I ate. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that was side mark. Yeah, so that was distracting from my story. But yeah, um, so that's everything, but I haven't seen him in years, and then, um, I always get triggered by those words and have hand attacks, and I always had nightmares about him coming back. Um, I still do, but it's like less than a year. I mean, it's a little bit more of a year. So it's like yearly occurrence now. Just like every year, we dream about him coming back and finishing the job because he failed. Because he wasn't able to rape me and he wasn't able to complete the sexual assault. So I dream about that, about him coming back and doing it and finishing the job. So yeah, I used to have it daily and then weekly and then monthly. And now it's a little bit more than yearly. And it's like every two years or so. Almost only when we get triggered. And we still get triggered by physical contact and we can't be touched by people. Um, and people can't lay on our bags, our backs. Yeah. Because um, that one time in Red Barn, uh, somebody got my back and then I um, didn't know what happened. Purely instinct, no memory, blacked out or whatever. All I knew was I was safe and standing away. And so I just rolled out from underneath him when he tried to sit down on me. Just rolled out of the way and then jumped up and moved to the side. Because <sighs> I was no longer on the floor in the center position, just standing to the side. Okay, so that's everything. I keep just wondering. I'm tired. <laughs> now we're going to spin. We're going to spin for no apparent reason. Yes, yes. Spinning. Nice. I like this. <laughs> this is really nice. This is like 
when I spin really fast, what I found, um, I get that feel, same sensation and feeling that I did um, when I used to wear, when I used to have wear dresses and everything, because you spin really fast and you feel like you're naked. I can do that same thing in really baggy shorts. I used to, I didn't want to give up skirts for a little bit because I got that feeling in skirts, but then I was like, I get the same feeling in baggy shorts <laughs> and get the same feeling in baggy shorts. <laughs> there is no point. <laughs> and then also, if I lock the door and I shut the door completely and it's in the middle of the night, I can be like naked and free without being completely naked and free because I'm not comfortable and I can't look at my body, but I can feel the closest I can to naked. <laughs> my body has been changing more, so I'm a little bit more comfortable, but still, no. Still can't be naked and free. I would love to be naked and free. But I can't even be naked and free while I'm by myself and alone because I hate my body. That's the sad part. <laughs> but I just want to be naked. <laughs> I can never be naked. And I just want to be naked. Okay. <laughs> so, now I'm just being random. Yeah. So that's all for my trauma. But voilà. I'm being dramatic and everything crazy. Hitting my face more and more. Hopefully more of this hair grows. Yes. I like this. You can barely see my face. I like this. Yeah. Hopefully more of my hair grows. I'm just waiting. I can't cut my hair and everything. I'm gonna wait. I'll probably just let it fade out and everything because I don't want to deal with it. So it'll just completely fade and everything. And hopefully by next summer and by the time... Um, by the time I want to cut it and everything, and I get to cut it, um, I'm going to wait until my beard's grown out. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it can cover up my face that I hate. Hopefully it can cover it up, so then I can stop looking at it and look in the mirror, and probably... I can't look in the mirror because I hate my face so much, so I need to grow more of facial stuff, more of a beard, so it covers up my face, and then I can wash my face. <laughs> I'll mostly just be washing a beard, but <laughs> it'll work. That's the point, because I don't want to have a face. So that's everything. Blah 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 blah. I got um, I got this T-shirt. This T-shirt used to be my brother's. It's a Batman one. I just got it from my brother recently. Um, uh, it was quite a while before Christmas. Yeah, it's regular Batman T-shirt. So that was, this is how I like this shirt. I don't know. Better angle. Did I screw everything up? The mess. I feel like I wear the shirt up quite a few times. I think cat one with the crown on it. Whatever. I'm gonna make this really random, really tiny short. I think this is cute. I'm gonna be random. Oh, turn it around. Good job. Voila. Super soft and super cute. And I just hang up there and don't even use it. <laughs> it feels nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that this is cold. There was one that was like completely black and then I had like purple eyes. I don't know. Whatever. Um. Do, 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 do. So this is what I wore when I went to my sister's. Um, where we had Thanksgiving and everything. There. I'm super random. And this is basically weird like gray, like shimmer of like purple a little bit, and it's just like gray, slightly tinted purple for this, but it's mostly just gray. Um, I usually wear that, usually use that one for work, this is jet black. I wanted to use this one, but then I lost it. <laughs> I forgot about it and left it at work and didn't see it, and it blends in with almost everything. It blends in like with the stairs and everything, and at least that one shows out a little bit just because it's has more gray on it, it's more gray, so it stands out, so I won't lose it as well, as much anyway. Yeah, so, okay, now that's everything. Um. This is the short I wore. It has this random tie at the bottom. Yep. <laughs> I'm being random and chaotic. So then I'm, um... Again, I probably keep changing shirts and everything. Because I don't feel like I should... I haven't been giving enough variety and changing my outfits enough for the different videos I've been making. So I'm gonna try and fit this in. <laughs> but anyway, as always, um, don't be mean. Um, try to be healthy and positive and loving to yourself. <laughs> and try and be happy. If you can't, I'm sorry. But that's all. Uh, goodbye.